Hello, you're watching Dansky, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a cracked glass effect in Adobe After Effects. First, we're going to start by creating a new composition. We can give this a name, set the size, the frame rate, the duration, click OK, and then double click in the project panel and import our cracked glass image and sound effect. We can then drag the image into the layers panel, right click this and rename this. We'll call it cracked glass or something similar. Next, press S on the keyboard and click and drag to scale this down, move it around until you're happy with the position. Next, we're going to select the type tool and click anywhere on the document. We'll type some text, crack, and then from the character panel, we can adjust the properties and then reposition and align this to the center. Next, we're going to right click on the text layer and select pre-compose. You can think of this as creating a composition within a composition, and then you can double click on the thumbnail to go inside it, and then we'll switch back to the main one and press Command or Control D a few times to duplicate that layer, depending on how many cracks you have in your glass. Now, starting from the second one up, we're going to name these fragment one, two, three, four, five. I'll do this nice and quick and we'll leave the bottom one untouched. Now I can hide all of these layers apart from fragment one and we'll start work on this. So we'll go to layer, down to new and select solid. We'll give this a name fragment one, a nice bright color and click OK. We can now hide this layer, but with it selected, select the pen tool and then draw a path around that first fragment. You can make any adjustments using the different handles and then turn this layer back on to see how it looks. With the fragment one composition selected, just make sure you have the extended layers panel and then select track matte and change this to alpha matte. This will use the red fragment one layer as our mask. So if I turn this off again and press P, I can now move the position and you can see it stays contained within the mask. And I can repeat that process for all fragments or I can duplicate fragment one a few times, move a copy above each composition and then simply rename them fragment two, three, four, five. Now for each of the compositions, I'm going to assign an alpha map that corresponds to the correct mask. So fragment two with fragment two, fragment three with fragment three. You get the idea. So what we need to do now is go through these one by one and just make sure that the solid red layer matches each of the different segments. And you can see me going in here and just making sure that that path does match each segment correctly. And once you've done them all, it's a good idea to turn them all back on and just go in and make any adjustments. We can then hide those solid red layers, make sure all our composition layers are turned on, and then go in and adjust the size and the position. And if we've done it correctly, it should be contained within the different segments. Next, I'm going to increase the size of this panel and just drag the playhead out about three seconds. Next, holding Command or Control, I'm going to select all of the compositions and press P on the keyboard. This will allow me to adjust the position. However, before I do this, I need to click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. We'll do this for all of the composition layers and then drag the playhead out a mere fraction of a second so that the crack effect happens instantly. And you can then go and adjust the size, rotation and position until you're happy with how your crack effect looks. You can also select the playhead and just drag back and forth over the animation to see how it looks. Next, we need to hide the cracked glass and make it appear in time with our text. So we can select that original cracked glass image, press S for scale, scrub forward so that we're in line with the other keyframes and then add a keyframe here for the scale. And once we've done that, we can hop back to that start position on the timeline and reduce the scale down to nothing. And in this example, it doesn't scale down to the center of the text. So I need to repeat this process with a position keyframe and move this up. So when the crack appears, it comes out from the center of the text and we can press spacebar to play the animation. Now lastly, and this really is the icing on the cake, we're going to add a cracked glass sound effect. So I have one here and I'm gonna drag this into my layers panel, expand this down a few times so I can see the waveform. And this will help me position this sound effect where the crack animation occurs. There we go, all lined up. Lastly, we need to transition from the non-cracked text to the cracked text. So with that original cracked text composition selected, scrub to the first keyframe and add a keyframe for opacity at 100%. Scrub forward to the second keyframe and then change this to zero. We're going to then drag this layer to the top. This will fade out our non-cracked text, leaving only the cracked text afterwards. And here's our final animation. 
Now, because we made our text a composition, we can actually double click to go inside that composition, make any changes to the text, and then it will update those changes across every instance of that composition. And this also applies for images. So I'm going to import an image here. I'm going to drag this inside that composition, the one we pre-composed at the beginning. And then I'm going to adjust all the masks so that they fill the entire scene. And I'm going to get creative with the position and the size to make this look really interesting. And to get the cracked glass on top of the image, just drag it to the top and change the blending mode to screen. Now we can drag the playhead to the beginning and press play. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So I hope you have a ton of fun cracking everything you can every which way. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Take care and I'll see you next time.